We're going to be casting some fins in this video. I have my premium bedding fiber down from Matuska. We're just going to take a butter knife, get it wet, and we're just going to make this as smooth as possible. I have this nice and level. We're going to go ahead and press our fins into this. We're just going to kind of make sure we spread our fin out as much as possible. And we're just going to kind of press it right into that. Try to press our butt in a little bit. We want about half in, half out. Once we get it set in here, we're just going to take a brush. We're just going to take a wet brush and kind of kind of brush our shape back into it. Doing this will also press out any air bubbles we might have trapped underneath it here. And we we just want to kind of clean our brush every time because we don't want to we don't want to take any of this fiber and get it up here on our on our fin here. I get that fin. We'll pretty much repeat that with all the fins on this. Okay, now we have our paired fin set here. I'm going to actually just cast a four pair of fin for now. They're pretty much set. What i got to do is I'm going to build a wall up. I'm just going to use the... I'm just going to use the bed and fiber that we have here. And we're just going to build us a little bit of a... of a wall. Okay, once we have our walls built up, we're pretty much ready to pour. I am going to add a little bit of fiber here at these butts. I don't want them to be... I just want to kind of make it so I have a channel to the outside here. Okay, now we have that set. I'm going to take a hair dryer. I'm going to dry these off a little bit and then we're ready to pour our one side. Once we get them dry I'm just going to spray them with a universal mold release. Before I before I get too far along, I am going to make a couple keys in here. Just take a back of a paintbrush and we'll just make a couple keyholes. This will just make sure that we're locking in where we need to lock in later on. take a little bit of body filler and a little bit of fiberglass resin. We're going to blend them two together. Okay. And I'm just going to kind of take this the mixture and I'm going to pour it. I'm just going to kind of let it run over the fins here. I probably could have thinned this a little bit more than I did but I think we'll be alright.
there's one side of this mold. We'll let this set up. Then we'll flip it, clean this off, and then we'll be ready to pour our second side. Okay, this has now been set. What we're going to do, I'm going to take a board on this side. I'm going to just carefully, carefully flip this thing over. We'll pop that side off here. all all off here once we're at this point we're going to take it over to the sink take a brush with it we're going to clean all of this off we're going to wash pretty much everything off of here okay as you can see i got this pretty well cleaned off i didn't clean this up the whole way i'm going to end up putting more back in these these spots here so that doesn't matter a whole lot what I want to do now, I just want to kind of dry this off. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to build walls with this like I did on the first side. I'm going to blow dry this one more time and then I'm going to put the release on it. Now you definitely don't want to forget to spray your mold release. You definitely don't want to forget this step. Nothing's more disheartening than trying to pull a mold apart that you forgot to put the release. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to mix a Bondo and some fiberglass resin and we will have our top coat on it. A little thinner this time so I should have a little less air bubbles. I don't think I had too many air bubbles on the last one, but you can kind of see my keys didn't didn't pick up quite the way that they should have picked up. We'll let this side set up also, and we'll hopefully be able to peel this off. Here's our mold when we're done. Now I took a screwdriver and a hammer and kind of worked my way along these edges here until it finally popped. You can kind of see the detail we got on these fins. They're pretty good. Now this side where I didn't get it quite as thin as I needed to, you can kind of see all the air bubbles that I left in it. If I'd have gotten a little thinner, I'd have been all right. I'll end up taking a little bit of epoxy filling these holes in so it's not... Yeah, so when we put our fin material, we don't get any of these air bubbles that pop through on the fins. But I'm going to take this to the sink. I'm going to wash it really good get any of this bed and fiber out of it and then we'll continue on to the next step here. we we'll fix our holes with the with epoxy here. We're now ready to put the fin material in. I'm going to once again spray it with our mold release. Spray with the mold release. We'll let this dry. What I'm going to use for the fins I'm going to use the Epo Grip Fin Magic it's a two part. Yeah, the Fin Magic's a two part, basically a two part epoxy. We're just going to mix it 50 50. We're just going to kind of work it into our, into our fins here. Okay, the Fin Magic has been set up. Now we just got to get this, we're going to pull this apart and hopefully we have some good fins in here. I'm going to take a flat screwdriver and a hammer. Just kind of... One 
once that pops. Yeah, and you can kind of see our fins here. We're going to have to pop these out and then we'll trim them. But they look like they're going to be pretty nice fins. There's a little bit of heat here. Now, before I added the heat, I did end up chipping this off here a little bit. So we'll have to rebuild that a little bit when we put them together. But basically, I'll trim these fins up. Like that, a little bit of heat. I should be able to kind of cut the shapes and then I'll take a... Take a piece of sandpaper and I'll probably fix them up the rest of the way. <clears throat> okay, and there's our fins. We got them. We got them cut out and cast. Um, you can kind of see the details on them pretty good. You can kind of see a little bit of the translucency in it. I'm still gonna. I still gotta put the details in the end. I'll take a cutting disc here on a Dremel, and I'll just kind of nick this, and you kind of give you the the individual rays here. And I'll trim it up a little bit, but these are pretty much basically how we cast our fins. And the nice part about that is you can just you don't have to worry about any shrinkage. They're the size that you want. What I'll do with my mold, I'll just I always have my fins. What I do with this, I'll just write I'll write what it is. I'll write I'll put 22 inch walleye pair fins. If I ever, if I get another walleye that's in that 22 inch size, I already have the fins cast. And we can just kind of roll with that. <clears throat>